Welcome to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we have another very interesting and challenging question from radical equations. It is cube root of 1332 minus x cube equal to square root of 122 minus x square. And we will be solving for integer solutions. So let's get started by considering this equation equal to y. Now I can write y equal to cube root of 1332 minus x cube and y equal to square root of 122 minus x square. Once I will consider cubing of first equation both sides then we will get y cube equal to 1332 minus x cube. And for squaring both sides, we will get y square equal to 122 minus x square. After rearrangement of the terms, we will get x cube plus y cube equal to 1332 and x square plus y square equal to 122. Now I will use algebraic identities. So I can write here x square plus y square as x plus y whole square minus 2xy equal to 122. Divide this equation by 2. So x plus y whole square over 2 minus xy equal to 61 or we can write xy will become x plus y whole square over 2 minus 61. This equation I will call equation number 1. Equation number 1. Now I will consider x cube plus y cube equal to 1 3 3 2. equal to 1, 3, 3, 2. Let us apply a cube plus b cube formula in LHS. So we can write x plus y in other bracket x square plus y square minus xy equal to 1332. Now x square plus y square is 122. So we can write x plus y times 122 minus xy equal to 1332. Now we can apply the value of xy from equation 1. So from equation 1, xy was x plus y whole square over 2 minus 61. So I can write our equation x plus y times 122 minus x plus y whole square over 2 plus 61 equal to 1332. Now 122 plus 61, it will give us 183. So x plus y times 183 minus x plus y whole square over 2 equal to 1332. Now I will use substitution. Let us consider x plus y equal to t. So I can write our equation as t times in bracket 183 minus t square over 2 equal to 1332 or I can write 183 t minus t cube over 2 equal to 
one three three two. Multiply this equation by two, so I can get one t minus t q equal to two thousand six hundred sixty four. Or we can write t q minus three sixty six t plus two six six four equal to zero. This is one cubic equation. I will use rational root theorem. So let's write the eligible factors of this constant two six six four. So I can write plus minus one, plus minus two, plus minus three, plus minus four, plus minus six, plus minus eight, plus minus nine, plus minus twelve, plus minus eighteen, and so on. And if I will plug in t equal to nine, see what will come out. Nine cube minus three sixty six times nine plus two thousand six hundred sixty four. So this will be seven twenty nine minus three two nine four plus two six six four. Will it satisfy? No, three three nine three minus three two nine four. This difference is not zero, so it is not satisfying. Let us apply t equal to twelve. So we need to write twelve cube. So let me write here. Twelve cube value will be one thousand seven hundred twenty eight. Then it is. Three sixty six times twelve, which will be equal to minus four three nine four. Then plus two six six four. So yes, this is giving us value zero, as this addition will be four three nine four minus four three nine four. So zero. That means t equal to twelve is our base solution. Let me write here. T equal to twelve is our base solution. Let us write all the coefficients of cubic equation. So I will be writing here one zero minus three sixty six and two six six four. Leading coefficient one as it is. Twelve times one twelve. So we will write twelve. Twelve times twelve one forty four. This will give us minus two hundred twenty-two. Twelve times minus two hundred twenty-two. It will give us minus two six six four. So here we have coefficient for quadratic equation. So we can write t square plus twelve t minus two 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 equal to zero. Let's calculate discriminant here. So I will write d equal to b square. So twelve square minus four times one times two hundred twenty-two. So this will become one hundred forty-four minus eight eight eight. So this will become minus of minus plus. So addition will give us one zero three two. If I will find factors of one zero three two, then it is one twenty nine times eight, which is not a perfect square. Not a perfect square, so we will get irrational roots. So I will write here non-integer solutions. So rejected. So this quadratic solution. Won't be accepted. So t equal to twelve will be accepted value of t. Let me write here. T equal to twelve. T was x plus y equal to twelve. Now I will write our equation one. X y was x plus y whole square over two minus sixty one. I can apply x plus y equal to twelve. 
So I will write 12 square over 2 minus 61. So this will give us xy equal to 144 over 2 minus 61. So this will become 72 minus 61. So value will be 9 plus 2, 11. Now I can write xy equal to 11. Let's say this is equation 2 and let's say this is equation 3. So from equation 3, I can write y equal to 11 over x as x is not equal to 0, which I will apply into. So let me write here x plus y equal to 12 and y equal to 11 over x. So x plus 11 over x equal to 12 or x square minus 12x plus 11 equal to 0. Now this is one quadratic equation. I can use factorization method. So x square minus 11x minus x plus 11 equal to 0. x times x minus 11 minus 1 is common x minus 11 equal to 0. So we will get x minus 1 times x minus 11 equal to 0. So we can conclude x will be equal to 1 and x will be equal to 11. Let us verify cross examine. So I will write here check x equal to 1. This is our equation. So I will write cube root of 1 3 3 2 minus 1 cube equal to square root of 1 2 2 minus 1 square. So LHS will become 1 3 3 1 equal to square root 1 2 1. Cube root 1 3 3 1 is 11 cube and 1 2 1 is 11 square. So square root and square will be over 11 equal to 11. So x equal to 1 is our verified solution. Now x is equal to 11. LHS we can write cube root of 1 3 3 2 minus 11 cube equal to square root of 122 minus 11 square. I can write cube root of 1 3 3 2 minus 1 3 3 1 is a 11 cube. Square root 1 2 2 minus 121. It is 11 square. So I will write here cube root 1 equal to square root 1. So 1 equal to 1 which is true. So 11 is also verified and true solution. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Till next video, take care of yourself. Bye bye.